Hey guys, it is Lisa Lee Walt, and we are out here this morning at one of my favorite locations. This is my favorite park. This is where I come every morning to do my jog or my exercising. When I say every morning, I think I should specify it's every morning that I don't sit in bed hitting the snooze button over and over again. <laughs> so a couple days ago I was out here and it was the most adorable thing. So this man was training for some kind of big race. It was a marathon or something big because he kept, he literally looped this thing probably 16 or 20 times. His endurance was amazing. But there was this little boy who probably couldn't have been more than like three or maybe four. And uh, he looked up at his mom and he looked back at the runner and he looked up at his mom again and he says, Mom, where is he going? Why is he running in circles? Doesn't he know he just keeps coming back to the same place that he started? And his mom chuckled and I thought it was hilarious because this boy, through his child mind, couldn't understand the concept of exercise. He didn't, couldn't wrap his mind around the idea that somebody might be running for a purpose. You know, and that purpose here was for physical training, to build endurance. He was thinking, why would anybody run if they weren't trying to get somewhere? And to me, it was just this perfect picture of how we misunderstand life sometimes looking through our immature eyes. See, I feel like sometimes we have some kind of destination, whether it's like we want a new job or a new house or we want uh, to get married or have kids or whatever this life event is that we think is going to make us happy. And we're so frustrated because sometimes it feels like we're just running in circles. Like we finally start building up in our career and then boom, something happens and we're back where we started. And we're like, what the heck? Why am I running in circles? Why is God doing this to me? And we get angry and we're like, God, you can snap your fingers and give me this job. Why aren't you doing it? But see, the thing is, sometimes God has us on a course, not for the purpose of just snapping his fingers and giving us material things, but for the purpose of spiritual discipline. Because see, he knows something that we don't know. We think that that money or that relationship or that career or that house is what's going to bring us our needs or we're going to fulfill our needs. We think that's what's going to bring us our security. That's what's going to make us feel loved. That's what's going to make us feel important. But he knows that it won't. God could snap his fingers and just hand you a million dollars tomorrow. But he knows that won't make you feel any more secure than you were yesterday. In fact, you're going to wake up the next day probably worrying even more and having even more anxiety of what happens if people try to steal it from me now. It's still not enough. Now I need more money. Now I need more houses. He knows that those things won't actually produce what we are desiring them to produce. See, security doesn't come from money. Security comes from a full, unrelenting trust in who our God is. That he loves us more than we love ourselves. That he has a plan for our lives. When we trust in his character, it doesn't matter what's going on around us. We will feel secure because we know who he is. We know he's been faithful in the past and he will be faithful in the future. But our God needs us to get our eyes off of the circumstances and onto him. Because only then will we actually receive all of his promises and all the things that we're searching for so desperately deep inside. 